Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. This is Dijon from Clock and Load. This is my first YouTube video and I'll be showing you how to use the wiring tool kit. So, let's just get it out. If you can see, this is how the HUD looks right now. As soon as you get the wiring tool kit out, you notice these output and input points, red circles, purple circles. If I connect this purple circle, oh, hold on, just getting used to this tech, to this red circle over here, and then change to any other tool, and press E on the computer now, you can see it controls this door. The issue, however, is that means you can no longer open and close this door on its own. So you get a win and a lose there. Uh, I can't say it's too useful right now, but with a few patches and a few more updates, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to use this with a few other things. I mean, we've got the levers, those don't interact with the toolkit at the moment. My main issue is I'd prefer if I could get it to open all the doors when I open one door instead of closing another and opening another. To cut the connection, you pull out the toolkit again. You go over to the circle, you right click, that cuts the connection. Now I mentioned about opening and closing doors, let me show you what I meant. If we go down here and connect this red to this purple, we've established another connection. It only works if you open this door, that door closes. Now, say I'd forgotten to close that door. I can't open this door back here. I have to go all the way over here and close it. So for me, I can't really see this see its usefulness at the moment, especially as if you wanted to use it as a lock to keep people out, they can just pull out a drill, knock the door off. But as I said with later patches, hopefully they'll bring more uses for it. It's up to you to decide what you see it is useful for. In fact, if you have any good uses, please leave it in the comments below. See you later, YouTube.